It's time for another keep an eye on it. Whether they are new entries in respected series, eye-catching indie debuts or something that's never quite been done before. These are the games coming out over the next few months that merit watching. Without losing time, let's go! Rain Over is a pixelated post-apocalyptic Heroes of Might and Magic feel to the brim with twisted mutants, killer robots and smoke spewing vehicles. Why developer Pentagodas hasn't released a whole lot of information on the game just yet, that description alone is enough to make us sit up and take notice. Heroes like Warlords, Rangers and Technicians will command troops from their chosen faction and fight to control what's left of civilization. With a random mod generator and multiplayer option, Rain Over should have a good amount of replay value. Everything that's already been teased points toward a solid take on a classic genre, so it will be exciting to see what else Pentacodas has in store as development continues. On Steam. Eglia Legend of the Red Cup is a mobile game boasting art from the incomparable Shinichi Kameoka and Koji Tsuda. The pair are best known for their work on the Mana series, Seiken the Netsu in Japan, and their signature style is apparent on every screen of Eglia. This February, the game is being brought to the Switch in Eglia Rebirth, a port that's been optimized for console play. The game is named for the land of Eglia where it takes place. Players will need to grow their village and hunt monsters to restore Eglia to its former glory. If you're looking for a whimsical fantasy title to play on your Switch, this could be the one that helps you finish out the winter. On Switch. Monster Catching Games offers some of the deepest team customization available in any genre. There's a lot of buzz right now about Pokemon Legend Arceus experimenting with open world exploration, but Bundler's Games Monster Tribe is an open world monster battler that deserves attention as well. You won't be capturing your critters in capsules here, though the Atean are caught in the space between dimensions and by binding your spirit to them, you'll be able to call them into the material world to fight on your behalf. With multiple biomes, crafting and a positional battle system that promises added depth to monster battles, Monster Tribe has much to offer. The island of Akama is waiting and you'll be able to start unearthing its secret in March. In the meantime, the game also has a demo available to try on Steam. The latest JRPG from X-Create, Ambition Record, is a tale of loyalty and betrayal, with visuals reminiscent of Grandia. The protagonist Raphael is ordered by his king to suppress a rebellion and quickly discovers that the danger is greater than he could have imagined. With a job change system, uncustomizable weapons and armor, Ambition Record looks to deliver on both gameplay and Dreamcast era nostalgia. At the core of the game's turn based battle system are Dragon Stones, which allow characters to gain draconic traits like wings. Applying these limited transformations effectively will be key to victory. There is not yet a Steam release date set for Ambition Record, but the game is already available for mobile if you're looking for something to play on the go. The tales of the old times speak of an unchanging world. Spell Drifter offers grid-based tactical combat powered by cards. Units' abilities are drawn from a deck, 
forcing the player to choose their next move from a limited hand. Each skill takes a certain number of ticks to execute, so timing your plays to coordinate with positioning on the map is vital. The result is a blend of genres with wide appeal for strategy gamers. Whether you like Fire Emblem SRPG battles or the deck management of Hearthstone, you'll find something to enjoy in Spell Drifter. Based on what's been shown so far, the vast array of cards available in Spell Drifter will allow for a huge variety of builds. What's more, the game looks to have plenty of big monsters and bigger bosses to fight. The game has been out on Epic for just under a year and is coming to Steam on the 15th of February. Journey to the West, a 16th century novel a tribute to the poet Wu Chengen, is an enduring classic of Chinese literature. It's been adapted into just about every form of media imaginable many times over. In fact, the original Dragon Ball manga was loosely based on Journey to the West. Now, Zeta Studio is offering their own take on the story with Divinity Chronicles Journey to the West. A roguelike deck builder strongly reminiscent of Slay the Spy, Divinity Chronicles trades in Western fantasy aesthetics, four characters and setting inspired by classical China. Ghosts, demons and of course the Monkey King are all present. If you're a fan of Chinese mythology, definitely give this one a go. The first chapter is available as a free demo, the full game release on the 1st of March on Steam. Vendor Plague of Lies serves up a world where poverty, plague and destitution are the status quo. And that's putting in Midley. An isometric RPG in a vein of classic Baldur's Gate, Vendor dives head first into a grim dark fantasy setting full of disease, misery and even cannibalism. While it's certainly not a sheer full game, it offers plenty of meaningful story decisions that offer the player a chance of leaving the world less depressing than they found it. Vendor boasts depth in just about every element of gameplay, from crafting to combat to skill trees, it's got enough for even the most serious player to get lost in. On top of that, the lore and NPC interactions are meticulously crafted. The game is expected to launch sometime in 2022 on Steam. The Legend of Heroes series may not have quite the fame of Neon Falcom's best known series YS, but it certainly has the same amount of earth. Trails from Zero brings the player to the city of Crossbell, where, as the newest member of the underfunded special support section of the Crossbell Police Department, they'll uncover the town's secret one by one. Fans of the series know to expect deep characters and a thrilling storyline with beautiful anime visuals. Players of previous Legend of Heroes game will appreciate the streamlined tactical combat that stays true to the series. New players have a great place to jump into the setting, as Trails from Zero kicks off a new story arc that doesn't require knowledge of the previous game to enjoy. JRPG fans won't want to miss this title when it arrives in fall of 2022 on Steam. A circadian rhythm is a living creature's day-night cycle, specifically how the body changes over the course of 24 hours so that it can get the most out of its active and resting periods. 
In the world of circadian, something has caused this rhythm to go higher wire for every living thing in the town of Mount Olive, and things only get more mysterious from there. One look at circadian tells you that it's heavily inspired by Earthbound. The isometric viewpoint, triple bottle backgrounds and even the interiors of buildings feels like they came straight out of the 1994 classic. Rather than kids, however, the party members are fully grown adults how to solve the mystery of the unrest rhythm and an evil corporation. If you ever wonder what an X-File episode would look like in Earthbound Universe, you might find your answer in Circadian, which released in May of 2022 on Steam. Convex Games' debut title is a tactical puzzle with minimal random number generator and many paths to victory. Each of the game's six classes has a distinct playstyle, but there are only four eras. Choosing and assigning each character's class will impact how the entire campaign is played. The same battle could require widely different tactics based on your party composition, and there won't be any lucky die rolls to save you, or to ruin a perfectly good run. Collapse of Magic's low poly art style still provide plenty of depth, color and detail for the setting. The game is not yet in early access, so there is still a long way to go before the final product, but it's definitely one to watch. If you decide to wishlist it, you can also sign up for the playtest in case any slot become available on Steam. Just keep an eye on it and see let me know what you think about these 10 games in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through our member program, the Patreon page and the Buy Me A Coffee page. Lots of perks and mystery box awaits you. Wish you the best. Ciao!